Microsoft is blocking all local accounts on Windows 11 in the Insider Preview Build dev channel. Now, I've actually downloaded, loaded this up, and made sure all of these commands, like OOBE, bypass NRO is gone, start MSCXH is gone, and they specifically said, we're removing all of it, and you're going to use a Microsoft account and like it. But I wouldn't be me if I didn't at least find a quick workaround. Now, a lot of things working online, you can manually add registry keys and other things, but I wanted to make it simple for you. So if for whatever reason you don't use like MicroWin or Tiny11 or, or NT Lite to make your ISO and you just want to use the official Microsoft one and just use a local account like a normal, regular human being. Well, let's first show you that these commands are now gone. So we're going to pull up our command line. We're going to go OOBE bypass NRO command not found. Next, we're going to do the next one. Start CXH or MS-CXH colon local only. We're going to hit enter here. Watch what happens. Normally, we should get a little window saying, hey, what user you want? Oh, no. What has happened? It's rebooting. I didn't do that. <laughs> and then it just kicks you back to this screen. So uh, you can do this over and over. And, you know, if you pull it back up and you're in here and you're like, okay, start MS-CXH local only. Uh, all right, here we go. Nope. Just keeps, just keeps rebooting. Oh, gosh. The humanity. All right, we'll just hit yes and yes. I'm going to turn off the assistant lady just in case. All right. And some funny things happen here. One, it always checks for updates. And if it does find updates, you're going to be sitting here for another hour while it installs them. There's a lot of shenanigans happening here, but you might be thinking, I'll just disconnect my computer from the Internet. No, it won't proceed without an Internet connection. Uh Again, you could add a registry entry in there and kind of hack around it a little bit, but I wanted to make it easier. So anywhere in the OBE, you can just do this. Open up your command terminal, curl dash capital L and go christitis.com forward slash bypass and then dash O and add in skip dot CMD. This goes out and downloads my file that automatically adds this stuff and resets it and just sets up your system pretty easily. But if you want to do this yourself, you can just fork my project, create your own unattended XML and set it up however you want. So if you're doing this in business, I would recommend just kind of forking it and then changing this around. Now, if you want to make your own settings in here, I tried to make it as general as possible, so I'm not going to pick region. I'm not going to pick anything else, but I use Schneegan's auto attended XML. Now you can set up all your settings in here so you don't have to go and proceed or choose anything from that setup and it will use this XML. So that's how I created the XML. I generalized it as best as I could and deep loaded as much as I could based on just standard settings. So we're going to go skip dot cmd and you'll see it download that xml and use sysprep after a short pause you'll see just a moment it'll reboot your system just give it time usually this takes about um, probably 60 seconds to two minutes depending on the, your system and then from this screen just answer the locale questions because you wouldn't actually have to answer the locale questions if I put that in my XML. I didn't because I knew people from overseas and other where in the world will use this. So I made sure to skip it. This will fill that last part in and it'll go, oh, I already have all the answers for the rest of this stuff. And then it'll proceed onto your desktop. Uh, watch how it just kind of skips everything here. And there we go. You'll notice everything's on your desktop. You're put in. Now, the username will be admin down here. This is a local account. You probably won't have access to change this easily. 
they're still going to want to force that Microsoft account on you. But all the old commands are still there to do that. Go start run. Uh, you're going to just type control in. This is the old school control panel from Windows 7. And then we're going to go into here, user accounts. And then we're just going to change the account name to Microsoft sucks. There we go. And now we can close that and reboot the machine. And you'll notice the new name, Microsoft sucks, is what we use to log in. And there we are. And now you've set up Windows with just the stock version, bypassing the online account. You don't ever need to use Microsoft accounts for anything. And there you go. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.